Today, we're talking about the power of gratefulness to heal. The power of gratefulness to heal. There's power in gratefulness. Do you believe that? Do you believe that there's power in being thankful? Do you believe that there's power in showing gratitude? We have a holiday that is upcoming we call Thanksgiving. It is supposed to be the expression of thankfulness. Obviously, it's about food and football and family and all these other wonderful things. But it's being grateful, being thankful for what we have. And, you know, I'm not saying that people who complain or whine are not thankful. I'm sure there are some things they're thankful about. But in general, that misplaced expectation undermines them. You know, it undermines um, their attitude of gratitude, and that will hurt them in the long run. Gratefulness means that we show appreciation and thankfulness for anything that does not come by our own effort. And there's a lot of that. How important is that definition? Think about that seriously. Showing appreciation and thankfulness, and here's the key part, for anything that does not come by your own hand. And that's what I said in in the first episode, is all the resources and things that are outside of us that we complain about, they did not come by our hand. You did not produce the transportation system. You did not produce the sanitation system. You did not produce the stuff that gets beamed on your television every night. You didn't produce Wi-Fi. You didn't produce any of this stuff, and yet you're complaining about it. You voice complaint as if you did have something to do with it. No, the, we've got to take expectation off of our environment, off of these other things, place it on ourselves. Take it off these things, place it back on ourselves. The only thing we should be expressing towards the resources that we have, whether they're problematic or not, is gratefulness. Because it could be so much worse. We could be living in so much more dire circumstances. It could be really, really bad. And that's you know how you know. If people are voicing more complaint than gratefulness, that's how you know how they think about it. And gratefulness heals us because false expectations are a wound. False expectations are a wound. They create pain. After all, we do complain about what hurts us, do we not? Something about you is in pain, you will complain about what hurts you. You will complain about what's bothering you. False expectations are a wound when we complain about what hurts us. Gratefulness is something that we express, which means that the power to heal ourselves is completely in our hands. You have the power to heal yourself. It is completely in your hands, and it's done through gratefulness. And that's something I've learned over the last couple of years through um, learning about nutrition and so the sort of diets that I've been on. And, you know, whether it's somebody who wants to improve their physique by building muscle or somebody who wants to improve it by losing weight, All of the goals are misplaced because you may think you're doing what's good for yourself because you believe that a a more slender body is a sign of good health and having a bunch of muscle is a sign of good health. They certainly can be, but you can also be doing a tremendous amount of damage to your body. It's not about the appearance so much. But what I have learned about nutrition over the past couple of years is how important it is to get your body healthy first. Get your body healthy first. Because losing weight or burning fat should be a natural thing, not something we have to impose on ourselves. It should be natural. The body should not be retaining the sugar and the fat. The body should be burning fat. It should should work well. But oftentimes it does not because our body is not healthy. So I wasn't thinking about the state of my organs. (laughs) I wasn't thinking about my liver in terms of how much protein I was eating. I wasn't thinking about blood sugars. I wasn't thinking about insulin resistance. I wasn't thinking about my adrenal glands. I wasn't thinking about any of these things. How acidic my stomach might be. 
So I wasn't eating necessarily, I might've been eating things that was conducive for building muscle, but not eating things conducive for a healthy body. And so I had to change that. I had to change and say, you know, I got to get my body healthy first, then we'll do all this ostensible exterior stuff. Let's get our body healthy first. So a good nutritionist will have you heal your organs and balance your system before they focus you exclusively on weight loss or muscle building. A good nutritionist will do that. So it's the same with success and gratefulness. You shouldn't focus on success until you first adjust your attitude. You must make that attitude healthy, and that begins with practicing gratefulness. You can't have a healthy attitude if your expectations are placed on the wrong thing, your environment or yourself. If you place the expectations on yourself, take them off your environment, all you have left to give your environment is thankfulness. To say, I'm grateful that I can, you know, still find a way out of this mess. I do not have a job, but I'm thankful that there's opportunity out there. I'm thankful that if I work hard, I have the ability, I have the opportunity. I may not know where to look right now, but I know that if I work at it, there's something there. Whereas I can take you to other countries and that will not be the case, man. There are resources. There are things available to you. There is plenty to be thankful and grateful about. So making your attitude healthy begins by practicing gratefulness. If you believe that you can't maximize your life because of others or your circumstances, then you have misplaced your expectations. Simple as that. If you believe that you can't maximize your life being you always blaming someone else or something else, then you have misplaced expectations. And when you take the expectations, as I said, off of society and others, then you've got to replace it with something, and that is gratefulness or gratitude for all the things that you did not create or supply, but yet you get to access them. Be thankful for that. Don't complain about it. And there's an endless list of things that you should be thankful about. This is practicing gratefulness, and it's something you should do daily. Do it daily until your mind is transformed, until you become what it is that you say. It has to become your permanent belief system And you would be healed of so much this way if you practiced it. Can you dig it? I hope you can.